Here we go. Let's find your joy today. We're gonna do the warm up. Then we're gonna use a small ball, weightless. If you don't have a small ball, that's okay. You can use a pillow. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Step, touch. Nice and big. You want that body to warm up. Hamstring curl. Getting all those muscles working together. Stand and tap. I'd bring you down here. This is my sunshine studio. Arm in front across. Let's march. And roll the shoulders. Hopefully you're moving more. Drinking more water. Getting plenty of sleep. Step, touch. And eating well. Where do you find your comfort? Is it in food? Change the arms. Stand and kick. Remember, healthy choices matter, even during this. Heel tap in front, push and pull. Healthy choices matter, they affect your body. They affect the way you think. Tap to the side. They affect, the healthy choices affect the way you treat people in relationships. And tap it back. Already bracing that core. Let's march. Okay, we're gonna do a, a jumping jack, but we're not gonna jump. So it's just like this. It just gets the heart rate up just a little bit more. Warming the core body temperature up and getting those muscles ready to work. So today we'll use a small ball, have your water handy, and a chair, a straight back chair. Probably breathing a little bit faster now. Your heart rate's probably beating a little bit faster now. So good for you. And let's march. And a deep breath in. Exhale. And one more. And exhale. All right, so let's grab a drink of water. And then we're gonna use the ball. Okie dokie. So we're just gonna squeeze the ball, just squeeze it just for a minute. As you squeeze it, you're using your knuckles, every knuckle, including the ones in your thumbs. You are also gaining strength in your forearms. You're just getting acquainted with the ball. 
Now bring it into your chest, face your feet forward, brace your core, and take those hips down and up with a squeeze. Down and up with a squeeze. Your elbows are in to your sides, your head, neck, and shoulders are relaxed. Down and up with a squeeze. Down, leading with your glutes pushed back. Squeeze, down and up. Your knees track at your hip bone and your ankles. If this hurts, don't do it or just go part way into the squat. Now hold the ball here and lift, lift, lift your knee, but don't bend your back. So your back is nice and tall. It's your core is braced to stabilize the spine. Exhale and inhale. It's a standing core exercise and you're getting your hips more mobile. Now take the ball down and overhead, down and overhead, down, overhead. So you start with the hip hinge back and then the ball goes overhead as you squeeze your glutes when you come up. Push back, overhead, down, and up, down. Let's do four more of these. Push back, nothing should hurt. You're working your glutes, your hamstrings, and a little low back. Push, and you're pushing through your heels. Oh, you're working your upper body too. <laughs> now hold it here, and it's over and over. I guess you're kind of working the whole thing. Well, that's what functional fitness is. You want to work the whole body as a unit instead of just one little muscle group. That's it. We're kind of transitioning into a new move. You can have your chair handy. Now the ball is here. It's going to go tap back and center. Tap back, center. You're tapping your glute back, your foot back, your toe back to squeeze your glute. Now you can add a knee if you want to. Push, squeeze. Your core is always engaged. If you don't need the chair, that's fine. You're working then your um, stabilizing leg even harder, particularly the ankle, and you'll feel the bottom of your foot as your toes grip. One more. And that's it for that side. Let's go ahead and get to the other side. Your belly button is in, and tap, and center. Tap, center. So we don't go quickly on this move. We go accurately and we squeeze. Your shoulder blade is going down and back. And if your arm doesn't go as big of a movement as mine does, that's okay. Now add that, the knee in the front. Squeeze, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull. Push, pull. If your toes are gripping, that's okay on the stabilizing leg. We're not transferring weight. It just stays on the stabilizer. One more. And that is it. Okay, one foot goes behind the chair and the other foot is out. This is if you need the chair for stabilization. We're gonna start on this side first. Go ahead and tuck those shoulders. Pull that belly button in, squeeze the glutes. Now you're just going to go down, the palm faces forward, the thumb leads back. Down, I'll move over a little bit, and back, down, back. So you're leading with your th a pinky down and the thumb back. Down, 
and back. This is the Y of the I's, Y's and T's. We just did the I's. This is good for shoulder mobility and strength. So you might not need the chair. So I'll stand out here. Your hiney goes back first. This is where hip mobility comes into play. You're strengthening the inner thigh and the outer leg. Four more, four. And your core is braced. Make sure you're breathing. Last one. And that's it. All right, we'll bring it on in. I want to do a side step. So it's side and side, side and side. So your side step is like maybe you're doing the dishes and you want to grab a dish towel and you step to the side or you're um, waiting for something and you need to move to the side for something. It's a fall prevention move. When we add the arms, we add more core. All right, now we're going to get to the other side of the chair. I'll move it over a little bit. So your feet are wide, your toes are forward. The ball is in the other hand, shoulders are set, and the palm faces forward. So, so it's a side lunge and up to the Y. Down and up to the Y. Down. Now when you come down, when your hiney comes down, your shoulder does not dip. You're just kind of um, bringing it around the front and then pushing back to the Y. You can put your hand there to remind it not to come um, out of its back pocket. Two more. And one. And that's it. All right, come on back to center. Stand firmly. Your ear is over your shoulder, that's over your hip, that's over your ankle. Your core, uh, your belly button is in, your core is braced. Shoulders are set. Now take the ball around, around, around. Glutes are squeezing as big of a circle as you can. Other way. Breathing. You're working the muscles diagonally around the core. A uh, spine. Other way. The muscles in the core that stabilize the spine. Four. Three. Oh, and of course your shoulders too. Nothing works by itself. Other way. We are so magnificently designed. We're not designed just to move one body part. We're designed to move everything. It all works together. And that's it. All right, let's grab a drink of water. Keep your feet moving and your head above your heart. You can tap your toes if you want to. Alrighty. So we're gonna, uh, let's see, we just did a shoulder one. So let's go ahead and do a leg one. We'll put the ball here and we're gonna touch the chair. Now you've shifted your weight to the stabilizing leg and my heel, I don't know if you can tell, is off the ground. Have your core stable and you're still in line. So the ball adds resistance as you lift, lift. Now you should not be able to lift it very high Using the gluteus medius. Exhale and inhale. Your stabilizer leg is working hard. Four, three, two, and one. All right, come on up. Now, stay on the same side. Plant yourself. Heels are digging into the ground. The glutes are squeezing. The knees are not locked. 
belly button in. Waiting on the music. Face the palm forward. Then it goes around. Oops. Yep, hit the ceiling. I'll take my feet out wider. Squeeze. Over. And squeeze. Over. Squeeze. You do grow when you do this because you're decompressing your spine. When you exercise and take good care of your body, you'll see a lengthening because you won't be hunched over as much with improper posture. Anyways, so your reach might become longer. You're going over and squeezing your elbow in. Your core is still braced always and you're breathing. Just one more. And that is it. All right, we're gonna get to that other side of the chair. I'm gonna move my chair over, you don't have to. Otherwise I'll go out of the view of the camera. Stand up nice and tall. Palm faces forward. You can touch the chair, flex the foot, and lift. Lift. You can actually put the ball on the leg here. I was setting you up for the next one. Now see how your toes need to be faced forward? Not here. So you leave with your heel or your ankle. Your hips are forward. So the bony structures of your hips are forward. Four, three, two. Now plant it down, take it over, and pull in, over, pull in, over, pull in, over, pull. Eight more, eight, pull. Your core is braced. You're working the lats right now, particularly. Those are the big muscles in your back. Four more. Four. Pull. You're doing the work. The ball is weightless or the pillow, whatever you have, or if you have nothing, that's fine too. Pull. And one more. And that is it. Okay. So go ahead and squeeze the ball. We're gonna get set up for the next one. So you're changing, and I'm just turning sideways so you can see what I'm doing. You're gonna put it forward and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So say your bushes need trimmed, squeeze. So you're getting your pectoral muscles in the, the chest muscles. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. You're breathing. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Relax your neck. Relax your neck on this one. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. One more up. Squeeze. Hold it up. Here it is. Swivel and up, swivel, you're swiveling your hips, swivel, getting ready for that golf game, now your back does not need to twist, it's the hips, see how my foot turns, down, where's your core, how is it, eight, four more, four, Swivel the hips. Three. This also protects against, um, if you have osteoarthritis. And that's the last one. All right, let's get to that other side. I'm gonna move my chair. All right. I guess I didn't need the chair, but it was kind of in the way. Arms start here, over here, so it's down and twist, down, twist, down. We're not swinging. Today we're not getting as much cardio as we are getting a function in the uh, muscles, the whole body working together. So one of the differences between what we do and machines is this does teach functional Movement, three. The machines you can 
can become complacent and let your core just relax. Last one. And that's it. Okay, come on back to center. Let's grab a drink of water. Drink more water. Always, always drink more water. Okie dokie. Now, we're gonna stand, you can stand under the chair. The idea of this one is to get the hip, we're working on hips right now. Your chest face is mostly forward and your hip bones, the bony structures of your hips are forward. Uh, let's put this arm here. And up, down and up. The palm faces forward and up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you're just getting those hips moving. I was trying to get on the beat. I turned the music down so low I can almost not hear it. Let's make this be the last one. All right, now let's step behind the chair. I am gonna turn mine this way. Uh, the ball, what do we wanna do with the ball? Let's do it this way. Tap, tap. Yes, we're doing another hip extension. Tap, or kick. Now it's not here, not here, squeeze, and it should not hurt your low back. Push. This is a hip extension. You can stay at the beginning or you can come here. Three, two, and one, and that's it. So now we're gonna switch. So you could be here, it could just tap back like this, tap. Or you could push, push through the glute, getting the hamstrings. Five, six. If it hurts your low back, you can hinge forward slightly, but you hinge and hold. Get that glute muscle. Three, four. Exhale, inhale. And that's it. Okay, now we'll go back to the side. What I do on the other side? I don't know, it'll come back to me later. Okay, so I wanna teach another sit to stand. Do the same thing on the other side if you remember. It'll come back to me, or not. It's okay if it doesn't. So sit out nice and tall. The shoulders are down and back. Oh, let me teach this way. So hinge from the hips forward, keep the heels in, and hinge and sit back up. Hinge, sit back up. Hinge, sit back up. As you hinge, your spine is straight, your heels are digging into the ground. If you need to put your toes up to remind yourself that, that's fine. Four more of these. You're working the hip mobility and low back strength. Three, because the ball doesn't weigh anything, so you have to add the biceps. If you want to squeeze those, that's a good idea. And one. Okay, the whole reason I did that is because we're gonna pretend to pick up a piece of paper and then we're gonna stand. Make sure the chair's there, sit your high knee back. So, hinge. So pretend like your napkin fell and you're just gonna pick it up. Your shoulders are still tucked down and back. I'll turn to the side. Push, push, push. So your knees don't come forward in front of your toes. Two more like this. And one. Okay, now say you have an affected knee. Say your knee, one of them hurts. Say this one does. It's not a bad knee, it just causes pain. It's okay to cause pain, it doesn't make it bad. 
Now, the affected knee, we're gonna pretend like this is my affected knee. It goes in front, always pushing through the heels. Even the back leg, it doesn't have to touch all the way, it's just back here, comfortably. You're gonna push and stand up. Did you see that? So my affected leg is in the front. The other leg is back a little bit. So see the angle of my shin in the front? The heel still digs in. Your hips still stay back. I'm going through some slow motion things here. See? See how the move starts with the hips? See? Now my, my angle of my knee is back. So my knee doesn't even think about going forward. I'm still driving through my heels. My core is still braced. Let's do a couple more on this side. Push. Now, it, it doesn't matter if your heel's down. It can be down or up. Back here and push. All of your toes face forward. And come on back down. All right, let's get the other one. So now say my right knee is affected and one side will work better than the other. So don't worry if um, one side's more wobbly than the other, it's okay. So come up slowly and squeeze your glutes. Always squeeze your glutes when you come all the way up. Push back and down. Push up through the heels, right? Push through the heels, squeeze the glutes. Push back through the hips. So I will turn this way so you can see. Actually, maybe I'll turn this way and have this foot in front still in my right, my right knee. Push. Come up, squeeze the glutes. It doesn't mean arch your back. When you squeeze your glutes, it actually means squeeze them toward each other. Don't arch your back on squeeze the glutes, okay? And then come on up, squeeze. Push through the high knee. Now if the ball distracts you, I have people sometimes, I told you I was gonna do a sit to stand. Um, now, now what you might wanna do is put the ball there and push through. I have some people do that if they have knee pain and it really helps the body mechanics with the hips. So push through the heels, keep the hips back and stand tall. No pain, none. Come on up. See the squeeze, the glute squeeze? Your core's braced, see that? Now I also have some people who need the back of the chair and that's okay. It's getting the body mechanics to work. You can use the back of the chair so it looks a little like this. So it's all about the body mechanics. See how it helps? This is like a little saddle horn. That's the sit to stand lesson for the day. Nope, it hasn't come back to me what I did on the other side. That's okay. So we're gonna do a few seated exercises now. So we're gonna sit and we're just gonna take it out in, out, in. I'll get on with the beat. In, push. See how my spine is neutral? Push. Now the other leg. Push through the heel. Pull. Push. Let me show you what it's not. Pull. Push. It's not that. You're strengthening the low abs, now the other leg. Push. And you're keeping your spine in its neutral position. Strengthening here, and yes, I know you're strengthening the hip flexors, we'll get that stretched out. Other leg. Four. Pull. Three. Only doing one leg at a time to protect your low back. Two. And one, and that's it. Come on back to center. So another one that we're gonna do is to sit nice and tall. Don't put it right at your joints, but put it closer to your body and squeeze using the inner thighs. As you squeeze your inner thighs, you're gonna get your rotator cuffs. Let's do a two count. Now I can hear the beat. Maybe I'll turn the music up a little bit louder next time. Squeeze. You're using your inner thighs. Now it's 
easy to take your feet out and do something like this. That's not what we want. We want to sit in a, a more natural position. Squeeze. Squeeze. Remember how we did the outer thighs with the ball? Resting on the outer leg and we lifted it. Well, now we're doing the opposing muscle group so our muscles will be in balance. And that's it. Now it's out and in. Out and in. Out, if you want, it's here. Out, in, out, in. These are the T's. We've done the I's, the Y's, out, and now we're getting the T's. The I's, Y's, and T's help with posture and shoulder mobility. Back, center, and one more. And that's it. All right, let's go ahead and put the ball down. If it were heavier, um, or if you, your water or a gardening tool, you put your hand here, take that leg out, come down so your spine's neutral, and take a deep breath in. Exhale. And another one. Inhale. And exhale. All right, take that leg out front and hinge. The heel is driving into the ground. You can no longer see my heel. I'll move back. So your toe is up. Now think, take your high knee back for a deeper stretch in the hamstrings. Breathing deeply in through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. Allowing that oxygenated blood filled with nutrients. And how does the blood get those nutrients? by what we eat. And come on up, slide it down and back, driving the heel downward, belly button in, chin back. Treat yourself with love. Make sure that you're getting the body the nutrients that it needs, the exercise that it needs, the social interaction that it needs, the sleep that it needs, um, de-stressing and release that. Here, I'll move my chair back so you can see my foot. My heel is digging into the ground and I'm hinging forward. This is the other leg for the hamstring stretch. Pushing the high knee back. It's, it's just more of a, um, you're lengthening that muscle the best that you can. I know that you want to stay updated on current events, which is admirable. Just make sure you don't ruminate on it. Get outside as much as you can to absorb the vitamin D. Sit back up, slide that foot down and under. You're doing great. Watching these videos, oh, like, um, comment, comment if there's anything you need or want on these videos. Like for instance, today we focused a lot on sit to stands. We're stretching our calf, by the way. Just comment um, anything, anything that you say, I always take into consideration. And please subscribe to my videos as well. My YouTube channel, The New Lifestyle Fitness. And release that. Take that leg out, sitting nice and tall. My chair's kind of at a diagonal so you can see me better. Now come down and this arm goes up. Stretching out that inner thigh, stretching out that back, the low back and the side. Breathing deeply. Come on up, that arm comes in front, fist and fling. So the whole idea is to keep you moving, bringing you joy reducing the inflammation that your body has in it. And give it a little rub, that shoulder, and gently encourage that elbow up. You can help it, but only encourage, never force. 
and then see what this arm will do. See if your fingers will touch. Sitting nice and tall. Don't lean for it. <clears throat> Just sit nice and tall, tucking that chin. Now take your nose down towards your armpit, getting the um, back of the neck stretched out. Back to center. Bring that leg on in. Core is still stable, right? Your core is still braced. It doesn't mean that you're holding a contraction the whole time necessarily. It's like 20% of, of what that would feel like. Like um, if you're lying on your back and squirt happens to drop your tennis ball on your stomach, that would be bracing. Yep, that happened. Make sure you're breathing. So welcome to my sunshine studio. Now you can see the inside of it. Come on up and bring that arm in front. You can fist and fling. You can even rotate your wrist. Whatever feels good. You're getting the muscles stretched out here, all in your deltoid, your arm. And then you're taking your finger, your knuckles through their full range of motion. Still breathing. All right, let's give it a little rub. That elbow goes up. You can gently encourage, never forcing, never to pain, ever. This arm goes in back. Relaxing your shoulders from your ears. Take your nose towards your armpit. And back to center. Now swivel around in your chair, taking, taking your um, knee down toward the floor, lengthening your hip flexors. We did a lot of knee raises, so that tightens these muscles. We don't want to leave them that way. We want to definitely lengthen these muscles. So you want to squeeze your glutes. When you lengthen these muscles, you lessen your low back pain. So we definitely want to do that. To extend the stretch, the arm comes up. Good. Relaxing your shoulder from your ear, though. Bring that arm down and swivel toward the back of your chair. If it doesn't hurt, taking the chin over your shoulder in the back. Come back to center and now go that other direction. Sitting up nice and tall, right? Now the arm comes up. Now keep moving throughout the day. Keep drinking your water. Eat nutritiously. Call a friend. Bring that arm on down. Swivel toward the back. Come back to center. If you can, you're going to cross one leg over. We want to isolate the ankle joint. So let's add that ankle rotation. How's your posture? Let's go the other way. Your shoulders are still set, right? They're not rounded forward yet, right? At all. Point and flex. If you want, you can hinge forward. Now see this knee? You don't want to let it go in. Make sure that that glute muscle is still engaged. And now give it a hug. Draw it towards your opposite armpit. Getting a deep, deep, deep muscle in there. Getting the IT band to help with knee pain. Oh my goodness, this is wonderful. If your body says no to this, you can hinge forward from the last one and just stay there, just hold it. 
and release that. Put that one down. Always stay where your body allows. Don't advance the move until your body's ready for it. Gently encouraging, but never forcing. Let's add that ankle rotation. Other way. Point and flex. Thanks for watching today. This, these videos came as a recommendation for one of my clients. And another who says I'm the real deal. So I decided I better put these on. I really, really want to inspire you and give you the hope and the joy and the motivation that you need to keep going. And release that. Remember, if you want to see anything particularly highlighted, just let me know and we're going to highlight it. You're still breathing deeply. And release that. Belly button in. A deep breath in. Exhale, take those arms in back, opening up your chest, sit tall, and then take that chin down, center, now back, center, down, center, back, center, down, center, and back. Now look over your shoulder, over, center, other way, over, center, over, center, over, center. Never to pinch or pull. Now release the arms and listen, center, listen. Center, listen and hold, center, and you can hold it as long as you need. And now that chin goes back, stretching, lengthening the muscles in the back of the neck that are very, very tight because of our forward neck posture. Two, and one, and we'll take a deep breath in through the nose, exhale, and inhale, and exhale. Thanks so much for joining me today. Yes, definitely let me know what you think of these videos, and I will see you next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.